We've got a special treat for you today. Today we're in North Texas and we're at the home of Bill Wilson of Wilson Combat. Bill, thanks for opening your place up to us. Very nice to have you guys here. Now in front of me right here, I've got five of Bill's actual personal guns, his personal 1911s. I think a lot of you out there, you folks may be thinking, I'm right on the edge of buying my own personal custom 1911. Now Bill, a guy may be out there, he's ready to write a check, but he's not really sure what features or what features he should expect or demand from a custom 1911. What are some of the factors that the customer should look for if they're going to put that money down and buy a custom 1911? Well, here's a, this is my personal everyday carry gun. And what we start out with on the custom guns is a good foundation. What makes our guns, I think, unique are the fact that we start out with uh, fully machined slides and frames, forged barrels, almost all the small components are fully machined from bar stock. And so therefore we, we start out with, with uh, good components, hand fit everything, and we end up with a quality product at the end. Well, yeah, and I think if a guy's gonna spend several thousand dollars on a gun, he expects to, to start with high quality parts. Yes, but uh, a lot of people out there still cut some corners. <laughs> <laughs> no corners are cut at Wilson Combat. We try not to, yeah. Okay, now before one of your pistol smiths, before they can actually become a pistol smith and work on the custom 1911s, they kind of have to make their bones, don't they, and start out and work their way up. Yeah, most of our guys start out in, in test fire uh, and then kind of work their way up to some parts finishing and that sort of thing until they eventually get to where they can do some of the minor operations on the handguns. So at Wilson Combat, it, it really is an honor to be awarded the title of 1911 Smith or, or Pistol Smith. I think, I think so, yeah. Now, before, they, before your Pistol Smith, before he puts that in the box and he ships it off to the customer, what kind of testing does it go through? Uh, it goes to the range and we do a very extensive function fire test uh, because above everything else, reliability is, is most important. And then, uh, you know, they test accuracy on the gun and make sure it's zeroed and it goes in and, and is fully disassembled and, and one of the gunsmiths check it out to make sure there's no ab abnormalities in the, the wearer patterns and things like that on it. Clean it and it gets packaged ready to ship. Now Bill, before I take off and leave you, I can't leave you without asking, what does Bill Wilson demand? What features, parts, and factors does Bill Wilson demand in his own personal gun? Well Paul, uh, as I mentioned before, this, this is my personal carry gun. This is my everyday carry gun. And the features that I like are good sights, like a green fiber optic front, which shows up well, uh, like our new battle sight rear with a wide U-notch on it. And then for low light, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Crimson Trace laser grips on a carry gun, you know, because let's face it, most, most gun fights happen in low light or mm -hmm. you know, virtually no light. Uh, in addition to that, uh, good crisp trigger, uh, like a single side, slightly extended thumb safety on it. I don't, I don't like a big wide one, uh, and I'm not a big big fan of ambies, especially on a, on a carry gun. And uh, Magwell, beveled. Uh, I really like the brown butt treatment we do now to the compacts. It, it gives me a really nice grip that I, that I really personally like. And uh, other than that, the, the other mods onto this are basically cosmetic, just things that I like that don't really... Your, are, ar are, that your armor necessary. tough finish, because yeah. it's going to be carried every day. Oh, you, yeah. Want yeah, you want something that's not going to... I'm going to rust if you sweat all over it and that sort of thing. But uh, I like the serrated slide top, you know, for cosmetics and, uh, and the carry cuts on the front. You know, both of them are, are more just personal taste than anything that you got Now, the have. folks at home might be surprised that this is not a full-size 1911. This isn't a 5-inch 1911. It's a compact. Yeah, this is a 4-inch four, four barrel compact. And I find that I personally shoot a 4-inch better than a 5-inch because, you know, at uh, near 60 now, you know, my eyes aren't what they used to be, and I, it's easier to focus on sites that are closer together than sites that are further apart. So I actually shoot a 4-inch better now that, nowadays than I do a 5-inch. That's interesting. It's something I think a lot of people wouldn't have thought about. Bill, thank you for being here with us today, and the folks at home want to learn more about Wilson Combat. Where can they go? WilsonCombat.com. Student of the Gun is brought to you by...